In this video, the OnKing is going to convince you to switch to Anki 2.1 because now you can customize your keyboard shortcuts, which is awesome. The customized shortcut add-on is awesome. It lets you do what uh, three different add-ons did in Anki 2.0. Uh, so we're going to go into the config here. And if we go down to the reviewer, the first thing I changed was one of these was set to R with the replay audio, and I changed it to an F because I like using R for my reschedule. You don't have to do that, but that's just an option. Also, I strongly recommend you don't get the right hand review with JKL because it was causing some conflicts with my other add ons. But if you add this text here under reviewer duplicates, you'll still have the right hand reviews with JKL. So uh, you get the best of both worlds here. So, strongly recommend you do that. I'll copy this text into the description of the video for your benefit. Also, up here in the editor, uh, I previously recommend a close uh, add-on that would make it so that every single close was a C1. That's what the difference between these two here are. Uh, as you can see, the close, which I have set to Control shift d now, that's the one that will do C1, C2, C3. The close alternate is will just do the same thing, C1, C1, C1. So I set the uh, default that I'm used to to the C so that I could do it on every single one would be a C1. And this is would, would go count by number. So there's tons of different things and there's lots of descriptions here on what they all do. Uh, be really careful when you are changing these because they can cause all sorts of conflicts with other things. So that's the only things I have changed. Thanks for learning with the Onking. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all the new tips and tricks we have to share with you. Also, here's our email. Feel free to send us any and all questions and comments. We are here to help.